Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 28, and today we have even more set photos and videos from the Metropolis set in Cleveland, Ohio. And it looks like Superman will be fighting there. Not only that, but the Daily Planet Globe has been revealed, so let's get right into the news. Now here we can see the Daily Planet Globe arriving on set, and from this bad quality image, it looks like it would be mostly silver. But I could see that on the top of the globe there was a metal hole that I assumed would allow the globe to be hung from the ceiling inside like a chandelier. However, then some more set photos were shared, showing that this was actually being hung on the outside just above the entrance, which did surprise me a bit. But then as time went on, we got even more photos of the globe finally being hung up, and I think it looks really, really nice. I love the font and the grey smoky glass with the continents in gold too, and that gold matches perfectly with the gold of the actual building, and with the Daily Planet sign just below the globe, it makes the whole entrance to this building feel magical and very, very important. But don't worry, this doesn't mean the top of the building won't have the globe too, because in many of the set photos we have seen, shops have the city skyline as a part of their logos, and on there is a big globe on the top of one of the buildings, which is the Daily Planet. So we are getting two globes, one on the roof and one at the entrance, which means more people can see it walking directly by the building. Whereas the one on the roof can only be seen well from a distance or in the air. So from a marketing perspective, having a globe also visible from people walking right by the building is a very smart move. But now let's move on to the destruction. We can see a lot of rubble scattered around the streets. Some blocking cars in, but others actually crushing some vehicles, and it looks like a real big fight is going on right outside the Daily Planet. Now, I'm assuming Superman will be a part of this, and the entire road is being closed for multiple days, so it will be difficult for us to get more photos like these ones, but if Superman is fighting there, I am certain we will be getting photos of David Corrinsweat in the suit outside in Cleveland. And I'm very excited for this, because I've made my views on the suit very clear. It's a nice design, but doesn't look great in the photo that was released. So being able to see new set photos of Superman standing up and in a battle could help turn the tide of public opinion on the suit. I think if the suit looks worse in public than the official photo released, then we could be seeing Gunn deciding to release a new official image of the suit to help the reputation of that design. But if someone is able to get a photo of David in the suit and the suit actually looks better, then that's free marketing for Gunn. It means he can focus on filming and not worry that people are tearing a new photo of the new suit apart. I'm hoping it looks great when we eventually see a new photo of the suit, but time will tell. And now let's pull focus to these two set photos of a random staircase in the middle of the road. They appear to be made from metal, and I'm assuming that it could be a staircase from a spaceship, like how in Man of Steel, Zod's ship would land and a staircase would come out. I wonder if the destruction caused here is from the ship itself, or the people that come out of the ship, or potentially people coming out to stop the destruction are in the ship. There appears to be a platform at the top of the stairs that I assume will be where the actors will walk down from or up to, and the rest will be created with CGI. Now, Superior Avenue will be shut from yesterday, which is Thursday, to Saturday, which is tomorrow. And a lot of these photos came out yesterday, so I assume today or tomorrow they will be filming down there. So if we get any set photos of the cast, it will be later today or tomorrow. The local news also confirmed that Lakeside Avenue outside City Hall will be shut on Tuesday, so just one day of filming going on there, and I really hope we get to see just a glimpse of who is there, and hopefully a photo of Superman which will make the suit look better, or potentially a photo of David as Clark Kent, as this will be outside the Daily Planet, and I'm sure they will need to get a few shots of Clark and potentially Lois walking into the Daily Planet at some point, so it makes sense to do it now whilst they can. So hopefully we can get a peek at how Clark will look in this movie too. Obviously we don't want to know too much as we don't want the movie to be spoiled, but just a couple of little set photos of the cast wouldn't hurt. And finally, let's talk about the Superman trailer. I ask my subscribers on YouTube and followers on Twitter, when do they think the 
Superman trailer will be released. Now remember, the movie does come out in July next year and production ends next month. So they will have almost a year in post-production. So quite a lot of time to edit the movie, perfect CGI and do any reshoots they need to do. But that also gives them a lot of time to create trailers for us. So with that in mind, when will the first trailer be released? And this is what my subscribers had to say. 5% said in quarter 3 of 2024, 39% said quarter 4 of 2024, 48% said quarter 1 of 2025, and 8% said quarter 2 of 2025. And on Twitter, it was very similar. The majority believing the first trailer will be released between January and March of 2025, and I agree with the majority. Whilst I would absolutely love to see a trailer as soon as possible, it just doesn't make sense to release it in quarter 3 of 2024. That would be between July and September, and that just isn't enough time as post-production would only truly begin this July. Not only that, but you don't want a trailer being released too early. That could cause your peak excitement for the movie to be way too soon, and by the time the movie comes out, many people would lose that excitement. You really need to ensure you don't give away too much too soon. And if you're releasing a trailer around 9 months before the film releases, then you can really damage the attention that movie gets, because the audience will just move on. Which is why I think quarter 1 works best. More importantly, I think February would be the best month because they can release it at the Super Bowl. Superman at the Super Bowl just works. It's an American event for a hero that embodies America. It would be the perfect place to release that trailer and get people on board. The event gets millions of people tuning in live to it, and people will feel very patriotic as well. And if you can utilize that for your promotion, then you're going to attract more people to your movie. So I think they should release the very first trailer for Superman at Super Bowl 2025. It would be around five months away from release, giving them more than enough time to create and release more trailers to keep that hype going. Any longer than six months, and it would feel like they're really dragging out the promotion as much as they can. So I think Super Bowl is the perfect time. And with that, I'm hoping we get something like what Transformers would always do with their marketing. They would utilize Super Bowl to really hype up the fans. They would have a small 20 second teaser released a few days before the Super Bowl, just to give fans a small glimpse of what was to come. And it was so exciting to experience. So I really hope we can get something like that with Superman at the Super Bowl. That does unfortunately mean we are like seven or eight months away from the first trailer, but I'm sure we will get updates from Gunn and hopefully some more photos of the cast in costume. And we also have Creature Commandos in December to hopefully keep us entertained. But I'm sure the time will fly by and the Superman trailer will be right around the corner before we know it. Like I said in the last episode, I'm just getting more and more excited for this movie as more news comes out. It's becoming more real now and it's just awesome to see happen. I would also like to thank all of you who commented on the last episode of the series. It looks like we're getting more positivity in the comments, which I know has been a struggle on the channel for a while now, but to see more positive vibes in the comments is a really nice thing to see. I try and answer as many comments as I can and I love having conversations with you guys about this these topics. So keep the positive comments coming because it's really nice to see other fans excited for this new Superman movie. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye!